Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're looking to find the derivative of x and the second derivative of x. So first worrying just about the derivative, we're going to use the product rule, since we have x cubed plus 1 all times e to the x. So the derivative is going to be the first term times the derivative of the second term plus the second term times the derivative of the first term. And this is going to work out to be x cubed plus 1 times the derivative of e to the x, the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, plus e to the x times the derivative of x cubed, we have a power function, so you take the exponent, bring it down to the coefficient, and then subtract 1 for your new exponent, 3 minus 1 is 2, plus the derivative of 1, 1 is a constant, so its derivative is just 0, so this is 3x squared plus 0, which is just 3x squared. Simplifying this, we get x cubed, e to the x plus e to the x plus 3 x squared e to the x. All right, and this is your derivative, first derivative. Taking the second derivative is just the derivative of the derivative, which in this case is the derivative of all these terms. First of all, we want to take the derivative of e to the x, which is just e to the x, and then we can work with the more complicated ones. So we have two things here. We're going to use the product rule for both of them. So similar thing here, we have for this term, the first term times the derivative of the second term plus the second term times the derivative of the first term. So that's these two knocked out, plus 3 times the derivative of x squared e to the x. So you take x squared, the first term, times the derivative of the second term, plus the second term times the derivative of the first term. Now we can simplify this. We get e to the x plus x cubed times the derivative of e to the x. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x plus e to the x times the derivative of x cubed, power function, I've actually already found it, but we can do it again. You bring down the exponent, and your new exponent is going to be the old one, minus 1, plus 3 times x squared, derivative of e to the x is e to the x, plus e to the x times the derivative of x squared, power function, so bring down the exponent, subtract 1 for your new exponent. So, one last time. We get e to the x plus x cubed e to the x plus 3 e to the x x squared. I can actually, I'll write x squared first since it's in the form of, in this one we wrote the x before the e to the x, so we'll do x squared e to the x plus 3 x squared e to the x plus 3 times 2 is 6 x e to the x. Since x to the first power is just x. We actually do have to do one more simplification. Uh, I'm going to write it in terms of the highest x term all the way down to the lowest. So we have x cubed here. So x cubed e dx. I'm just going to cross it off so we know we've gotten it. And plus 3x squared e dx plus another 3x squared e dx is plus 6x squared e dx. We've used both of these terms now. Plus 6x e dx plus e dx. And this is your second derivative. So now we found both of them. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.